what's up everybody so i literally just woke up this is my morning face this is how i be looking when i wake up in the morning kind of rough but you know um, i already brushed my teeth i haven't ate breakfast yet so i'm just gonna show you guys what i do in the morning time well some mornings like when i do my skincare i normally do it at night time and i only do it in the mornings like if it's time of the month or if i have a pimple coming in or or whatever the case is i'm not sure if some of you guys already seen my last skincare video it's pretty much the same nothing really changed i still use the same skincare products on my face because it's the only thing that works for my skin so this is how my skin is looking now not bad not bad got this little blemish right here and on my cheeks but um by the way this video isn't sponsored they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I wish they were, but they aren't. I'm using underneath skincare products. I've been using this for years now. Like I said, it's the only thing that works for my skin. So I have a bigger piece of soap, but I broke it in half because I like to use small pieces at a time. I just use this on my face, just lather it into my hands. And then I'm not gonna do too much in the morning. I don't like to do too much because, you know, it's morning time kind of i'm just gonna do my cheeks because that's like pretty much my problem areas like whenever i get like pimples and stuff yeah, it goes on my cheeks it doesn't really i don't really get i don't get pimples on my forehead like probably like once in the blue moon at night time i do like my full out skincare routine because that's when you know like if i'm out all day and the bacteria and germs build up on your skin like when you're out for the entire day so of course at night time i do my skincare routine is a little bit longer than my morning time routine i don't have oily skin the only only place on my face that gets really oily is above my eyebrows and sometimes on on the sides of my nose and that's about it but i don't have oily skin thank god for that because Oily skin is what causes pimples. So, but this soap right here prevents any pimples coming in time of the month. So, but I like to be on top of it. You're supposed to like rub the soap in for like about a minute. It's been more than a minute. <laughs> I normally rinse my face off and like, it's not really warm, but it's not cold. It's like in between. It's like in the middle. Now I'm just gonna pat dry my face with the clean shirt that I just washed. I realized that putting too much oils on my face tend to break me out sometimes because I feel like it clogs up my pores. Like when I was younger, I used to um, put shea butter on my face, but that was the worst thing I ever done because shea butter, it's really good for your skin, but not too much. Like you're not supposed to put too much on your face. So when I was younger, I put like a lot on my face and that's when I had like lots of breakouts because the shea butter is so thick and that definitely clogs up your pores for sure. I might put a little bit of a vino on my face, just a little bit. It's a tip because I don't want, I don't want my face to feel too dry. I'm just gonna keep my bonnet on for now because Oh, my hair is a mess. Let me get a little bit of vino and put some on. Hold on. Okay, so I got like a little bit of vino right here. I'm just gonna put some on my face. This is actually too much, but I don't want my face to feel too dry. So normally when I um, put moisturizer on or oil on my face, I kind of like go like this to my skin, kind of give my face a massage. The driest parts on my face is around my mouth, so I like to make sure, you know, it's nice and moisturized there. Yeah. That's it for my morning skincare routine that I barely ever do. But, um, that's that. I don't know if it's my camera or if I'm really this pale because the last video I posted, when I look back at it, I'm like, why do I look so pale? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, I left Canada pale, and then I came to Jamaica. I don't really go in the sun, so I pretty much still have my skin complexion from what I had when I was in Canada. <laughs> because, you know, in Canada, there's like, we only get a couple months of um, summer. So it's like, you know, once summer's done, 
winter comes, like even if you were in the sun during summertime, once winter comes, your tan completely disappears. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I will see you guys for the next part of the video. Right now I'm just refreshing my locks because I'm going to go run some errands and lately I've been working out. I started back working out three days ago so when I sweat my locks get really really messy so I plan on washing my hair this weekend. And then I'm just going to wash it and retwist it. I'm not going to do any fancy hairstyle or braid it or make it curly because my locks are always curly. And once in a while I like when my locks are straight because I don't wear my locks straight often. So once in a while, you know, I get a break from having my locks be curly but i realized since i wear my locks curly so much i realized that when my hair is straight i actually feel the weight of my locks <laughs> which is crazy for years i was always like when people ask me oh is your hair heavy i'm like no only when it's wet but come to find out my locks are actually a little bit heavy when my hair is straight because i feel like when my locks are curly it kind of you know takes some weight off of my neck but when my locks are straight nowadays it's not like crazy heavy but i can actually feel the difference from when my locks are curly and when my locks are straight i'm just wearing my locks half up half down that's what happens when your hair gets longer and yeah i have decided that i'm going to trim my locks for those of you that watch my 22 years of growth video i did mention that i'm going to trim it so if you watch the video there's like i have a couple of locks that are longer than the rest i'm just gonna trim off those and um I'm not going to make it even because realistically when you have locks, your locks aren't supposed to be like cut straight down the line. It's supposed to be cut in layers. The longest locks that I do have, they're kind of annoying because I always sit on them and they always just get in my way. My locks are already layered, so I'm just going to kind of, um, you know, keep it how it is. My hair is still going to be long. You're not going to be able to tell or notice any huge difference from what, you know, it is right now. But I'm going to let this charge, so I'll see you guys soon. These are cute. They look really big. This is actually, it's what, a six and a half, but yeah. And I like how the heel is like a, it's like a triangle heel, which means it's easier to walk in. orders from Shein and stuff or from like any online um, shopping website they don't wash the stuff you're supposed to wash your clothes because it goes through a lot of um, machines and dirty hands dust debris all of that so you want to make sure you wash your stuff before putting it on because it's not cute you know just saying Baby, you don't need them, take the yeah see beautiful we already had this one before, but we had to get another one, so. We 